What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 14 in the Math 3 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question gives us two piecewise functions and asks us to find the value of 3 times h of 2 plus 4 times g of 1. Now the big skill this is testing is evaluating piecewise functions. So what is a piecewise function? Well, my favorite example of one of these is uh, thinking about an hourly wage job where you would end up making let's say eight dollars an hour until you hit 40 hours in a given week and then once you hit 40 hours there's a point at which the amount of money you make per hour changes because now you're on time and a half. Now we can see that we have one function that starts at zero hours and ends at 40 hours and another function, a steeper one representing time and a half, starts at 40 hours and just keeps going from there. So we need to actually treat each of these functions like it's one of these and the um, the biggest thing we will need to do is look at what number it's asking us to plug in for x in each of these functions and see in which range that's gonna fall so for instance h of 2 our x is 2 in this case and in this range this one has x is less than 2 this one has x is greater than or equal to 2 h of 2 fits into the x is greater than or equal to 2 range. And now g of 1, make a smiley face there, our x is 1. 1 is not greater than or equal to 3. 1 is less than 3. So we need to plug in 2 for this part of the h function and 1 for this part of the g function and do some more math from there. Let's get started with this process of plugging in. Um, h of 2, I plug 2 in here. That becomes 4 times 2 plus 1. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. So h of 2 is 9. And now to plug in 1 for g here, that's going to end up as 1 squared plus 2. Evaluate my exponent, and I get 1 plus 2, which is 3. So this is 3. All right, so now we need to figure out this whole expression because we weren't just trying to find h of 2 and g of 1, we had actually plugged them in to this expression here, where it was 3 times h of 2 plus 4 times g of 1. And since I already wrote my numbers here, it was easy to just sub in as instead of 3 times h of 2, 3 times 9, instead of 4 times g of 1, 4 times 3. Now if you use your calculator or your times tables or whatever method you want, you should get that these two together, 27 plus 12 equals... 39. So our answer is 